Hello, my name is Jamie Sturgill and this is my Vulnerable Dad vlog. The last time I made a video was before Christmas and we were much more stressed before Christmas because Leo's numbers were so low so frequently that there was a worry that it could be the leukemia that came back and we had a bone marrow test done December 28th which showed that that wasn't the case and so we continued with treatment and we're ending stage three very soon. Um, but the, the next stage is the hardest stage. Uh, a lot of kids don't want to eat very much during the next stage and they're very weak and lots of times have to have blood transfusions during the next stage. So I'm scared of the next stage. Um, I say lots of times you have hospital visits during the next stage. And so please pray for us. Please pray for Leo. Please pray that we're able to keep him safe and without infections or sickness during the time when his immune system will be the weakest over the course of the treatment. Thank you for your prayers and for your support. Um, I just made a video, but it was like 15 minutes long. So I'm trying to think of how I can shorten it. And um, I mean, one of the, the things that just sticks out in my mind the most is how um, I'm a Christian. Christianity has been the main focus of my life. I consume lectures and theological studies all the time. It's what I do. And uh, I love doing that. And, and yet going through this time of suffering uh, and trial has been very difficult and it kind of points out to me uh, where I fail, where I get so intent on um, perhaps things that don't matter, where I really do want to be seen by people as being good. I mean, one of the reasons I probably make this vlog is I don't want to waste my suffering. I don't want to waste Leo's suffering, but do I not want to waste it because I want people to think I'm a good person or do I not want to waste it because I really want to do what God wants me to do. And where does one pick up and the other leave off? You know, I, and this has been a struggle my whole life. There's no doubt. Uh, I'm always able to find the, the ill will in myself because it's always there. You know, it's not a false humility. It's real. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, even a piece of me wants to make this video so that maybe I could get famous and make money from making YouTube videos, you know? Well, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I mean, but there is another part of me that just wants to be in the suffering with other people who are suffering. And there's another part of me that wants to please God and be as much like him as I can be. And, and man, there's no doubt that being vulnerable is like being Jesus. Uh, and, you know, I was just thinking, you know, if Jesus would have come and he got rid of all the Christians' problems, you know, in the first, second, third centuries, what you would have seen is a, a bunch of healthy Christians running around without diseases and ailments and the rest of the world going, wow, we should become Christians so we could be healthy and happy too. And that's not what you see in the early church. What you see in the early church is lots of persecution, lots of problems, but they loved in spite of the problems. <sighs> I kind of wish it was the first part. And you know, Leo's doing really well. Uh, last time I went to the hospital, his immunity numbers were higher than they've been since October. And still for me, that's great. You know, I'm excited about that part, but I, I think more than ever, I understand that uh, suffering's helped me and I probably need some, I need more. And so it's not just the, the health and hospital side of these things that are scary. I think it's the spiritual side of these things that are scary. So I, I know, I know that, you know, if, if 
any of my children died or people that I love die, it's going to make me want heaven that much more. And, and I want to want heaven that much more. Kind of. <laughs> so, you know, this, this isn't just a, a health battle for sure. It's a, it's a spiritual battle. It's a, a grasping battle. And, and the experience kind of stinks. Then trying to pray, and trust God and surrender and um, not be afraid of him. Not be afraid that he wants to take everything that I love. And I know he doesn't want to take everything I love. I know that everything that he does is for my own good. But I want to be spoiled, not loved, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think we're all that way in some ways. I'm definitely that way. I just want God to take all my problems away. And all my kids' problems away. I wish the early church would have been a church where everybody was rich, happy, and healthy. And... You know, at the same time, one of these driving forces of my spiritual lives ever since having kids, especially, is when I give our kids something, I just have that feeling that's like, man, I wish I could give them something more. I wish I could give them something more. You know, even if it's the very thing that they want, I wish I could give them something more. And, you know, I know that God's better than me and he knows how to give good gifts. <sighs> the best gift he can give us so much of the time is suffering. Just like a good coach gives his team suffering so that they become better. So does God give the good gift of suffering so that we become better? And I, I know there's a massive part of me that doesn't want to be better. And what an arrogant thing to be. What an arrogant way to look at life is I'm already good. I don't need to suffer. I don't need to be pushed anymore. <sighs> Jesus help. So please pray for us as we go through the next stage and uh, continue to be isolated. We will be isolated through Easter, which is always a wonderful time. And uh, we usually have a big Easter celebration at our house. And so we won't be having that this year. But, uh, you know, on the Suffering is certainly a part of the spiritual life and it's helping us. But uh, one image I have right now often is, is like attaching my prayers to the coat of Jesus as he busts through the door of sin and death and suffering. Now, I can't bust through that door, but he can. And, you know, so I do have faith that, uh, that Jesus answers my prayers, not because I'm good, but because of the, the victory he has already won over death, sin, and hell. But he still wants what's best for me. And I do understand that sometimes what's best for me is suffering. So I, we still pray and uh, we still have hope. But uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope it's not made so that people think I'm good or something like that. <laughs> Man, my mind is so keen on finding all the good and bad in there, huh? Anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you.